Hello, this is the AVIT department, Westminster Computer Lab. Today is a very quick tutorial. I just wanted to show you an application that you can use to uh, burn in uh, CDs and DVDs. It is extremely, extremely important that you understand that uh, due to the acceptable uh, uh, usage agreement uh, for Westminster, that um, you are not allowed to um, copy uh, CDs and DVDs in a way that it violates uh, copyright laws. For example, you cannot use this application to uh, um, copy over MP3s uh, that are copyrighted, um, you know, copy existing movies or CDs uh, just for the sake of doing that. If you were doing that, you would definitely be in violation of the acceptable usage agreement uh, at uh, Westminster United Church, and privilege would be taken away. Um, the, uh, th this um, application would be more for when the users uh, at Westminster United Church are you know, creating uh, content, creating media, creating videos, creating music, uh, that they have a way to store, um, put into more of a permanent storage location, uh, such as uh, burning their own C CDs to play the music that they created or playing DVDs that they did. Currently, the only device in the computer lab that allows for burning of CDs and DVDs is the server itself, so that allows a little bit of control from the instructor uh, to, uh, to oversee the operation of the burning. Uh, how you do this is you go to the main menu and you go to sound and video and there's an application that's called Gnome Baker. CD DVD writer. And when you go in here, uh, there are several um, options that are available. You could create um, uh, a data DVD, a data CD. This would be for just storing in data itself, as well as an audio CD. For example, if you looked at other YouTube videos where we are indicating how to create um, an auditory product, product, a song, so to speak, an MP3. Um, then you can actually uh, use this to take those results and burn them into an audio CD. So you could put them into your car and actually play them, or you could put them into a uh, CD drive at home and play them as well, or a computer for that matter. So there are several uh, tools uh, that are available. Um, um, uh, for the uh, data DVD, you just click on uh, to, uh, to uh, store the information. Um, Basically, a screen would come up. I'm not showing you because I don't have a DVD or a CD on my person right now. But you would simply click and drag the files into the DVD or CD um, to, uh, to store them. Uh, there is the tools directory which allows you to format a DVD um, or to uh, format a CD. Um, if you want to make copies of the um, CD or DVD that you have burned in and you have created to make copies. Again, use common sense. This is not to violate uh, copyright laws. Uh, plus, there's um, other abilities uh, to burn in images. Uh, normally, this is more for things like uh, uh, operating systems that are burned in as images, snapshots of hard drives. You could actually uh, burn them in. CDs provided that they're, or DVDs provided that they're not too big. This is a very common way to actually burn something in, an image that's downloaded, for example, a version of the installation disk for uh, Linux or for, you know, for uh, different operating systems. So just wanted to show you that this tool is available and you can, uh, you can play around with it. Uh, it really just is a way to uh, take uh, uh, material that you have created in the lab and store it onto something like a DVD or a CD so you're not taking up any unnecessary space. Uh, again, this is the AVIT department. Just assuming you're happy volunteering and uh, enjoy your new tool.